It was a beautiful fall afternoon. Charlie Brown was feeding his best friend Snoopy. Supper time was Snoopy's favorite time of the day. Charlie Brown was excited for a game of football. Snoopy thought it was a great idea. Charlie Brown asked his sister Sally to play. I'll play on two conditions, big brother. Linus, my sweet baboo, must play. And teams are boys versus girls, because I said so. Sally recruited her friend Eudora for the girls, while Charlie Brown asked Linus. Linus agreed to play if he could bring his blanket to secure the field. Then, Charlie Brown asked Linus's big sister, Lucy. She was busy manning her psychiatry booth. I am very good at football, Lucy said, but this is my busy season. Oh, brother, Charlie Brown said. He decided that Peppermint Patty was a good replacement for Lucy. Charlie Brown and Snoopy stopped at Schroeder's house. He agreed to play as soon as he finished piano practice. Violet and Patty were next on Charlie Brown's roster. Well, I wouldn't want to mess up my lovely hair or my pretty dress, said Violet. But I'm going to play to help the girls' team out. After promising Patty and Violet that they would not get dirty, Charlie Brown and Snoopy picked up their very dirtiest friend, Pigpen. The boys' team was still one player short, and the game was about to start. Suddenly, a new kid appeared out of nowhere, wearing a football helmet. Charlie Brown waved the kid onto his team. Finally, a little good luck, he thought. When the game started, the boys had the first kick. Linus held the ball, and Snoopy kicked it as far as he could. The ball landed near Peppermint Patty. She picked it up and ran towards the end zone. Peppermint Patty threw the ball to Violet. She caught it right in the end zone. Violet was about to celebrate her touchdown when Pigpen tackled her. A dust cloud formed around Violet. I'm a mess, Violet yelled. Why do you have to be so dirty? Violet ran off the field. The girls were now down a player, but it didn't bother them. They were winning 6-0. The boys' team had control of the ball. Charlie Brown threw the ball to Snoopy, who caught it right in his teeth. Snoopy ran to score a touchdown. Snoopy did a happy dance as the scoreboard clicked six points for the boys. After plenty of zany back and forth, it was true football frenzy. Dinner time was approaching quickly, and the score was 21 to 20 with the girls leading. Charlie Brown knew he had one last chance to win the game for the boys' team with a three point field goal. He asked the new kid to hold the ball for a kick. You can do this, thought Charlie Brown. He kicked as hard as he could. Wham! Charlie Brown was on the ground before he knew it. The new kid had picked up the ball before he could kick it. The girls won the game. 
Charlie Brown stood up and said to the new kid, Why did you pull the ball away? So you could see me land flat on my back? That's when the kid's helmet came off. Charlie Brown couldn't believe his eyes. It wasn't a new kid at all. It was Lucy in disguise. Did you really think I'd miss the game and let the boys beat the girls? All Charlie Brown could say was, Good grief. Charlie Brown was worried that the boys would be disappointed. But, to his surprise, everyone was smiling and giving high fives. The game was so much fun that no one cared who won or lost. Three cheers for Charlie Brown, the kids said. Charlie Brown decided that it was a great Sunday after all. The End Oh, 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 oh,